last guest is uh, the co-host of The Morning Amp on Vocalo 89.5. He's a regular on Wait, Wait, Don't Tell Me. He hosts The Moth Story Slam, and he's one of the funniest comedians in Chicago, and he has saved my ass from being on. From, uh, please welcome and please thank Brian Babylon. <laughs> a second. All right. In that case, please welcome John Langford. Good evening. Mark's having a bad week. Give Mark a big hand. It could have been anyone in that back room then. He didn't have he had no idea who was in there. He just said, right, hang on, I'll get someone. Mickey Rooney was there five minutes ago. He, was, he said he had to go, he had something better to do. But. What, do you want to, should, we have, should we do an interview then, Mike? Yeah. Nah. Do you just want to sit and I'll play, sing a song for you? We'll All right. I'm not going to plug in anything. Here we are. Put it right there. I try to think of a happy song um, to cheer Mark up because he phoned me. He sounded desperate a bit earlier. But <laughs> he said, there's no chat show guests left in Chicago. <laughs> They've all gone west for the... I'll do a Mekong song because it's about the... This is it's actually totally cynical, but it's the you can sing along with the chorus. Everybody's so in love But they don't touch our meat Eyes are stinging, eyes are red A bunch of flowers in the street Oh, I love a millionaire I love a millionaire I love a millionaire I love a millionaire The champagne was never cheap But I could watch someone to drink it for me And never rise up from these sheets Watching time just roll away Oh, I love a millionaire I love a millionaire I love a millionaire I love a millionaire Stretching out my bones A million miles from home Lost could hold my body I lost count of my lovers But I can't count my money Forever and forever who? I love a millionaire I love a millionaire I love a millionaire I love a millionaire Dreaming of a creature Who is too pale and large to stand And only feels the terror of his pain flight from earth Ross Perot's my buddy I lost count of my lovers But I can't count my money Forever and forever 
I love a millionaire. 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 Thank you. He didn't, they didn't pay to this see me. This has been the weirdest show prep leading up. Brian, how are you? Give me a Come on, Brian. <laughs> Give me a few minutes. No, try it, Brian. You're yeah, not going to get on a stage now, mate. <laughs> my stage. Yeah. My interview. What's new? It looks good. Actually, it's good. It's good because there's nothing new. Do you have I the have C? Nothing. I bought your CD. Which one? Skull Orchard. I bought it on Amazon. Then I lent it to you because oh, you needed like, your own CD. That's right, yeah. And then you didn't. You took it. Did I don't I never, have it. Did now. I never give it back? You never gave it back. Did you bring it? No, you I got one. Yeah, I got one in a box. <laughs> <That's and there. laughs> I burned it. On vinyl. I burned it and I put it up on Mega Upload. You so burned any, it. Yeah. What did you do with all the all my other CDs? Yeah. <laughs> Everybody can have it. How are you? What's 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 you were at South by Southwest? I was at South by Southwest. What what yeah. and and you have a I mean that's not like I'm going down for the first time and this is uh, this is no, I'm the new not kid in town. Time. No, you uh, you you have a place down. I'm mean, not a, not a physical place but a, a spiritual place. A spiritual place. Yes. Yeah, I, I don't know what I'm asking. Uh, <laughs> no, I've been there. I think it's the 16th year in a wow. row. I've been there. It's kind of weird. It's a bit odd. It's really changed. It used to be like it's kind of industry conference with like loads of um you know you'd be you sitting having your breakfast at a table and you get surrounded by the entire a and r and publicity department yeah. of cbs and marketing firms and, yeah and all yeah. this stuff thing. and now it's just like it's just a load of kind of it's, it's spring break so basically there's a lot of students just getting drunk and binge drinking and then a lot of bands from out of town getting drunk and binge drinking and, <laughs> It's, uh, it's quite, it's the, 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 I thought this year I really noticed how the parties they have in the daytime, which aren't anything to do with South by Southwest, are really great and they treat you really nicely. So there's the official stuff. Yeah, and, and then, then there's, there's, there's the official stuff in the evening, which is always kind of just a bit, a bit yeah. like, why am I doing this? Well, oh, why God. are you doing it? Well, why am I playing it to 20 people at 1 a.m. in the morning? Yeah. At, at a, you know, a club, which is actually a place that looked look like, uh, it, was, it was a kind of venue where they have weddings. Hmm. But my bass player said, look, at any minute now, the, the children are going to come in with their ice skates and ask for some hot chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was that rock and roll, you know. But there's always the chance that somebody, somebody in well, the no, right position like 20, 20 could hear people. you. 20 people, and there's a guy from the Philadelphia Inquirer yeah. standing in the middle at the front, sort of blogging live. So. <laughs> it's all right. You know, it gives, I think people get so drunk when they're down there that they see me play... Like I play like ten times over the three or four days. It's just one. Then they blur. go home, and by the end of the year, they've forgotten where they saw me, <laughs> and they think I go on tour all the time. And they think I, maybe I was in their town. <laughs> well, I wasn't. I only ever go to Chicago or Austin. So, <laughs> so you're performing tonight. Tonight, I'm uh, repaying a, a huge favor. I, I, when my record came out, the last Skull Orchard record, we did an, a record release party, and Andre Williams came, and he was the special guest. And tonight is his record release party here. I advise you all to stay around because we've never seen Andre Williams. Well, tell us about it. Anybody him. seen him? Yeah. 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 He puts on quite a show. Yeah. And uh, but, but there's there's this mystery. Like our mutual friend Dave Nagler said, ask John about Andre Williams. What? And then you said he. And then you clouded in mystery. What? What, what are, about what's, him? What's going to happen? Well, I haven't got time what, to I mean, tell you all the stuff I know about. Well, him. tell Just tell the, tell four things. Four things. My favorite Andre Williams story was once he was on tour in Europe with the Sadies and some German promoters gave him, they knew he'd like rum. So they brought him a bottle of like this 50 year old rum, which was really, really expensive. And they came into the dressing room, they were all excited and they, they poured a little glass at him and said, Andre, Andre, we have this rum for you. It's from 50, it's from Cuba. And he, Andre went and just tipped it on the floor. Really? And they were like horrified. And Travis from the Sadies says, Andre, what'd you do that? What'd you do that for, man? You mean, at least you should have tried it. You, you might have liked it. And he went like, yes, exactly. <laughs> I might have liked it. 
And what if I wanted it tomorrow night? I can get my Bacardis on any street corner anywhere in the world. Which, if you think about it, it's, it's really, it's really makes complete sense. Yeah. What is, that, what is that a metaphor for? Don't dream too high? Don't I don't know. <laughs> That's Eugene O'Neill shit. Should, we should have had Denny. You have an extremely addictive personality. And yeah. sort of, you, know. You're, you don't have an addictive personality. Me? No, you don't. I don't know. You don't? <laughs> no. no, no. <laughs> so you're, you're... I appear to be addicted to coming on this show. So. <laughs> I'm I only a phone call away. Do you want to have your real guest on now? No, absolutely not. Why not? He's, He's dead to me. No, no. <laughs> I'm just joking, 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 joking. <laughs> I'm making more, like, more people are on my list now. You know the yeah, list I, everybody I've got has? a list as well. Who's on your list? Ooh, I can't tell you. You're awful. You're not, though. Don't thank worry. you, thank you. Just name, give, tell me four people on your list. <laughs> just four people. No, I can't. It's embarrassing. But there's, there's a list. Yeah. And I never, thought I, I never thought I would have a list, but I, yeah, do, I do now. Yeah. Just throw it out. Yeah. I'm going to throw mine out No, tonight, no, too. no. Nope. I, try, I, I harbor for whales in the Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> so tonight, are you performing stuff from Yeah, Skull we're Orchard? doing the, the, the Skull Orchard kind of four-piece rock band. So for the Jim Elkinson said, I don't, we haven't done that for a while. It's good. I do that. Come on, get balls out thing. <laughs> I went like, what? Like, balls out. <laughs> <laughs> these, these are the balls? <laughs> these little balls? This is our balls out night. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we haven't done it like that. We haven't done the four piece. We, we, we usually have some um, very talented women with us, and they, they're not available tonight. Yeah, that's what that's I That's what they said. <laughs> well, for the people who, who didn't see you on last time, tell us a little bit about the record, because it's, it's a... Well, I did a record called Old Devils 80 months ago, and then we followed it up about six months later with a, a book and an album of the first Skull Orchard record, because we reissued that, and uh, that was an album I made about living in South Wales, and I re-recorded it with a 40-piece male voice choir, who often come to this room. Yes, you've seen them. They are a bunch great. of old Welsh bastards. They're great, but um, who drink? They'd like to. They drink, wouldn't yeah. refuse that rum. No, no, they well, they would just drink it immediately. We would be gone. Yeah. yeah. So they, they would be on the carpet, gnawing at the carpet where he'd. <laughs> you know. But uh, I'm going up to Toronto and do some something with them. But the hideout were really nice last year because the only it's really hard to get forty Welshmen anywhere. So the hideout. <laughs> The hideout paid for a coach for him to come down for the block party, and they got to, they got to hang out with Mavis Staples and Booker T, and they were very excited. You, well, thank you, thank you for, for coming. You're marvelous, Matt. How about a, how about a cheer? Uh, John Lakeford, everyone. <laughs>